What's up, my be lovely? You guys, today I have Tyra back in the building and we're eating some turkey legs in the Be Love sauce. This is our first time tasting it and we are going to say grace and get it in. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 So we have cucumbers over here and some lemons. I am so excited. You excited? <laughs> she was like, she's like, I'm ready to take a bite now before the cameras even started. So we are doing it today. Oh <laughs> See, she had, I told her her palate is very mature. Mm -hmm. Because she likes a lot of stuff, everything. Like, um, pig feet. Woo. And chitlin, uh, chitlins and mm -hmm. all that. I was, she said the only thing she don't like is really liver. I don't like liver and anchovies. And anchovies, yeah. So anything else is a go. Please move. I'm going to get a little one. Of sure. Sorry. This is delicious. Oh. That's, <laughs> That's okay. Everywhere. That's okay. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yo, y'all gotta try that turkey leg. Oh, we didn't even do a thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. Cause like, you pick, ooh, my stuff is wet part. That is tender. Yes. Oh, yours did the same Mine thing. Did the same <laughs> I was gonna have to pick it up like this, something like this. And you use it on top of your, balance it on top of your, uh, it's hot, ain't it? That's good. Ooh. Very quickly. Okay. That's good. <laughs> good enough. Already making a mess. You know what? It's hard not to make a mess with this sauce. And it's so delicious. I hear you got some cucumbers. Let me put the cucumbers right here. They're just seasoned cucumbers, y'all, with some seasons on it. I just love cucumbers, that fresh taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very good. I just love eating cucumbers with just some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Same yeah. with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that, too. Mm. But, y'all, I'm going to have Tyra kind of explain um, a little bit about her movement. Mm -hmm. And when she came up with it and how you, what it's all about and everything, where you see it going in the future. Mm -hmm. So, it's the push through movement. Which mm -hmm. stands for Powerful, Unique, Successful Hero Zabbers and Untouched. Mm -hmm. And I started it because for 13 years of my life, I've grown up in a single parent household, been raised by my mom, mm -hmm. and she's amazing. Mm -hmm. Really is. Um, I just know how I struggled with growing up like what, <clears throat> growing up like that. Mm -hmm. And I just want to encourage those who are really, really struggling with that. And struggling living in those households or like misbehaving in school or mm -hmm. getting in trouble or you know just going through a lot I just want to inspire them to keep going and that you can push through mm -hmm. and that you can do amazing things oh yeah and to help them realize what I realized mm -hmm. that the one who's not there is the one missing out like they're missing out on a lot. Mm-hmm. Because you're an amazing person. Mm-hmm. And if they're not there, then that's their, that's their loss. Right. And it's not just for that. It's also for kids who are growing up in, like, foster care. Mm -hmm. And not even just for kids. Like, some adults are still struggling with that, too. Mm-hmm. So, just to, like, really bring awareness to... Because it's actually, like, a fatherless daughter syndrome. Mm-hmm. And, like, like a lot of people struggle with that. And I want to, like, hold seminars. And I already have my podcast, which mm -hmm. talks about it. Mm -hmm. In my podcast, I talk about different subjects. Like, one of my, I guess my favorites would be The Pinkett of Forgiveness, where I talk about um, the Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. And how her and her brother both struggle not having their father in their life. And how their father wanted to come around after they got famous. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys can check out my podcast. It's on Anchor, Apple, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Um, it's in all of my description boxes. It's mm-hmm. on a lot of stuff. I don't remember all of them by heart. How, how often do you do your podcast? Um, because I've been busy on my YouTube channel, mm-hmm. I haven't posted in a while, but mm-hmm. I just posted, wait, no, I just posted last week, mm-hmm. but that was a long time since I posted, but I'm going to get back consistent on that. I've just been really busy with YouTube and everything. Yeah. But every time I do my speaking engagements, I talk about it because I think it's very important for people to know that they can keep going oh, and yeah. that they can push through. Yeah. And also, like I said, it's not just for kid, people who are going through, mm-hmm. like, just like a parent. Mm-hmm. It's for people who are struggling with anything in their lives, like struggling with haters. Oh, yeah. Struggling with bullying. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Everybody deals with some type of, of hatred or bullying or uh, being rejected by a parent, whether it's a mother or a father, you mm-hmm. know? So, yeah. Everyone struggles. Everyone. Yeah. And it's also to show people that we're all a family. Even mm-hmm. though some people don't see all of us as that. But we're all a family. So mm-hmm. we should come together as brothers and sisters mm-hmm. instead of bringing each other down. Mm-hmm. So that's what my movement is about. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to do a lot more with it. Like I want to go all over and talk to... Like, schools and Mm -hmm. churches and homes. Like, I even... Well, it was before I started my movement, but still I was sharing with them my experience. I went to DJJ, which is the Department of Juvenile Justice Mm -hmm. in Columbia, South Carolina. And I talked to the the young girls there as well. Oh, nice. So, you how often do you um, have speaking engagements? Um... I don't know exactly like dates or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not um like every week or whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you do your mom um find them for you or you just they um, reach out to you? Some people reach out to me. Some people, and I pitch myself a lot. Mm-hmm. So like sometimes I might be like I have my own movement and I talk to different things. I talk at mm-hmm. churches and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I talk to people who I know may need someone to speak. To gotcha. try to get them, but mm-hmm. mostly people reach out to me mm-hmm. asking if I can speak. Also, because I was on the Food Network and they want to show kids mm-hmm. that they can be what they want to be and do what they do. That's cool. And how how were you when you was on um on Food Network? You was like what? I was eleven. Eleven? Wow. Eleven and twelve, or eleven and eleven. I think I was eleven on both of them. Oh. And so you're looking to be have a, um go on more shows in the future, right? Mm-hmm. I do want to. I want to have my own show. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know what you want to be when you grow up. Um, I want to be a lot of things, mm-hmm. but my main thing, um, I'm going to be going to school for animation. Mm. Oh yeah. Because I want to be an animator. I also do want to be a chef. So after college, I want to go to culinary school, and mm. then. I also, because in high school, I'm going to be taking culinary classes as well as taking digital art classes. So I will be um, certified Mm because in the digital art class, when you're an intern, you you get like your certification in high school. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's at the Kate Center. I'll be going, I'll be attending my school and going to the Kate Center as well. That's amazing. So you want to, when you, um, so you want to bake and cook all types of genre mm-hmm. or food. I want to cook everything. Mm-hmm. And my whole vision is to like have, like, you know when you go to like Starbucks or something, mm-hmm. and they have like open space for someone if they need to work or something, mm-hmm. and have like Wi-Fi and outlets and everything mm-hmm. for people to just like relax and like sit down and study and everything. Mm-hmm. That's what I kind of want, mm-hmm. but still like serve my foods, but still have an open space for people to come and you know and work. And work mm-hmm. and do what they have to do. Wow. So are you? Uh, so you want multiple restaurants? Yes. Right. I want to be like really mobile. That's mm-hmm. why I wanted to start with a food truck first. Mm. It's because that I can. Well, I can't drive, but my mom mm-hmm. can drive around places. 
I will be getting my license in two years. <laughs> yeah, she's not already her mom. When she's 15, she will be driving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I already got a plan. But, like... I can drive to different locations to be more mobile. Mm-hmm. And I kind of want to have, like, a huge franchise. I know I'm not going to get to, like, McDonald's or anything. Mm-hmm. But I do want to have, like, a huge franchise, like, someplace in someplace in South Carolina. Like, more than multiple places in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And some places in, like, Georgia or North Carolina. But just, like, places everywhere. So, what, what um, type of things do you want to sell on a food truck? Like, you know, like street tacos or maybe something, you know, because it's like. I want to sell, like how I said yesterday, because my, my cuisine is Southern with a bold twist. Mm-hmm. So, like adding, doing Southern dishes, but adding like a twist to it. Mm-hmm. So, like my macaroni and cheese, it's a loaded macaroni and cheese with five different cheeses, mm-hmm. bacon and ham. And mm. I also do have my mac and cheese gratin. So it's like creamy on the inside and then like a, excuse me, bread crumb on the outside. Oh, that sounds good. So something that you can create on the food truck that's, you know, quick and easy that somebody can eat like, like you know. my skewers, like chicken Right, skewers. right, right. My, I have chicken marshmallow skewers and I have chicken teriyaki skewers. You don't really like teriyaki. No. <laughs> I'll have my chicken, I'll have different flavored skewers. That would be good. Um, just a lot of different varieties of things because I know everybody likes everything. I even have some vegan stuff because mm. everyone doesn't eat meat. Mm-hmm. Wow. Y'all, she going places. I'm telling y'all. And you somebody to know. <laughs> Do you ever want to open a restaurant? Mm-mm. Not me. <laughs> I mean, I just think that some people can do it, but... I think it's a lot of work in what I'm doing right now in my life. Mm-hmm. I know I wouldn't have time to run it. I just splashed on my face. You just what? Splash. Just splashed on my face. Oh, okay. I think you could open up, well, at least a store. Mm-hmm. I think you could have a good store with your sauce. sauce. <laughs> your sauce. Trust your me, I thought about it. So many people you tell them, asking us to open up a restaurant. And I was like, oh, that's so much work. I think if you don't have a restaurant, at least have like a cafe or like a store. Mm, yeah. Well, who knows? I can never say no to everything. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I never know what's going to happen happen in the future. I never know. This is so delicious. I'm glad you like it. My sauce definitely wasn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all, you said y'all tried to make it, right? Mm-hmm. It wasn't. We made it too hot, too. Oh, we made it really hot. Spicy. Mm-hmm. I tried to not make it so hot mm-hmm. because I know that some people can't take the spice, you know, and it ruins the appetite. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is really, really good. Thank you. I knew I would mess up my white shirt. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. I should have gave you a um. So I had a little plastic bill. It's fine. It looks natural because my shirt has spots. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but so you could go on pretty soon. Be going to the formal. Mm-hmm. Are you excited? I'm excited for eighth grade formal. Yeah, it's gonna be like because I don't think we could have prom until senior year. Mm-hmm. So this will be like a time, and because a lot of my friends are going to a different high school. Mm-hmm. They're not going to go to Irmo High School. They're not. No, they're what? going to Spring Hill. Oh. Um. Spring Hill. It's not that far, but like Spring Hill doesn't have like sports, so kids who are going to Spring Hill, if they still play a sport, they can try out and go play oh. a sport at Irma. But um, so you're gonna miss your friends then? Yeah, but well, I do have some friends going to Irma though. Mm. Wow, that's different. Usually, when you have a school, because you've been at school all your life, right? Mm-mm. I went to At Corley. Mm-hmm. I went to Crossroads, which is an all sixth grade school. Mm-hmm. No grade but sixth grade. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Then it was I, a small school then. Very no, small. it's really big. Because it's like a whole bunch of kids from one district. Mm-hmm. My district is coming to that school for sixth grade. Wow. Right, and then seventh grade, I went to Dutch Fort. Mm-hmm. Then I moved to Irmo. I'm still zoned for Dutch Fort. 
But I'm going to Irma High School next year. So what school would you like better? Hmm. I don't like middle school. You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I kind of like Irma better. Did you? Mm-hmm. What are some of the uh, challenges you have, you say, what you have in school? Your life, I the pros and cons. Middle school is so long. Like, it's so long. Like, especially this year. Mm-hmm. I, I'm so anxious to get in high school. I guess that's why I'm just so bored with it. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, get you over it. Here. Yeah. yeah. You got the itis. Like, mm-hmm. my son be saying, I got senior itis. I got, a, you got a great itis. Mm-hmm. You just ready to go. Mm-hmm. It's like you, um, like me. Like, eighth grade, and it's always an exciting thing to start something new. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're just ready for a high school to start. And high school going to go back so fast. I keep hearing so fast. that. A lot of people keep telling me that. Yes, four years is nothing. And a lot of people's also told me that eighth grade year was going to be the worst year of middle school. Was it? Uh, it was. Just long for you, not too long. bad. Mm-hmm. So you, what you got? How many more? You got about a couple more months, right? Mm-hmm. We got in June. Mm-hmm. June is the last one. Then I get to say bye-bye to middle school. Mm-hmm. You get to throw off your cap. Mm-hmm. Throw it up in the air and be gone. Well, I'm excited for formal day. You are. Mm-hmm. So do y'all have, uh, do you have to go with somebody or you just be by yourself? I'm going with my friends. Really? I see a lot of people doing that these days. It's like they don't go with part, you know, couples no more. You know, mm-hmm. it's more let's go as a group. Yeah, and plus I'm not allowed. It's what? I'm not allowed. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you're not allowed. Not yet. Not yet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I think me and my friends want to meet up mm-hmm. at someone's house. At one of our friends' house and take pictures and stuff. Mmm, that'll be fun. Um, what clothes do you want to wear? We're not going coordinate or anything. Mm. I still have to find my dress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you basically can wear whatever color you want to wear. Mm-hmm. What color would you desire to wear, though? I want, like, a pinkish color. Mm-hmm. Like a light pink. That'd be pretty. But, um... The theme is like masquerade under the stars. Oh, okay. So it's like a masquerade ball. So y'all have it. It's a whole committee working on that. And so they have mm-hmm. an eighth grade committee that works on stuff like that, or we have student council. I think mm-hmm. they work on it. Okay. Are you on um, anything at school? Extracurricular I'm, activity. I'm on student council. Are you? I ran for president, but I didn't make it. Okay. But um, even if you ran for president and didn't make it, you still get to be a part of student council. Mm. So that's all you do is student council? Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to get more interactive once I get in high school. Mm-hmm. And plus, because this is my first year at the school, mm-hmm. I wanted to kind of like, you know, just spend the school year getting my grades right now. Mm-hmm. This is so delicious. Thank you. So you got, when you got high school, you may want to be a cheerleader or volleyball. I think I want to tell me about that. I think I want to be a cheerleader. Yeah. I missed tryouts for next year, but hopefully my sophomore year I get to try out. Did you? Mm Mm-hmm. They have it that early? Wow. That's crazy. Mm Mm-hmm. But that should be fun because, you know, it's a lot of things you can do. I know they probably have a band and mm-hmm. they have flag band. girls and flag. What's this, flag team? It's called Color Guard. Color Guard? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know it used to be flag team when we was at, when I was in school. Yeah, I called it flag girls and then some people correct me and was like, it's Color Guard. Color Guard, wow. I'm used to color, um, flag girls. Too. Mm-hmm. And then they have a dance team. Mm. Excuse me. To me, it's almost like they all the same. Um, color guard, they're working with like the flag and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then the dance team, they use like they have pom pom routines. Oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. Games. And like they do with the games and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they do like dance routines like at halftime and stuff. 
And so, something that they don't know about you is that you like basketball but can't play it or what? Yeah. <laughs> that's I what like her, basketball. That's what her mom said. But I can't play basketball. <laughs> but you know all the rules. Hmm? You know all the rules to basketball? You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that you just wanted to do, huh? Mm-hmm. Something new. I know something about basketball. I just learned about football. Did you? Mm-hmm. Not too long ago, like last summer. Do you like watching football? Um, I'm starting to. I didn't used to because I couldn't understand it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like football. I'm kind of starting to like it. I'm not a sports person. person. My mom was, was watching volleyball. Really? I do. Volleyball like, looks fine. Yeah. Yeah, my god mom is a volleyball coach. Oh, is she? Mm-hmm. Gotta keep you in shape. Did you feel good? I don't want to stop eating, but I'm getting a little full. Girl, don't stop with stuff yourself. Man. I think I ate my whole, almost whole, my whole thing. I ate a lot, I think. Mm-hmm. Compared to what I normally eat. That was a big turkey leg, though. Mm-hmm. How you used to eat like a a lot, like a whole bunch. You lost a lot of weight. Mm Mm-hmm. Is it because you got taller? I think so. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, she didn't lost a lot. You so much slender. Yeah, I used to eat like a whole bunch. And then Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but I just like stopped eating. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't like stop eating, but I don't eat as much as I used to. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Go through the little spurts, um, especially when you, um, Younger, sometimes mm-hmm. you just see children that grow up and they be a little chubby and then they grow out of it. Mm-hmm. But I think it's probably your height too. Mm-hmm. Caught up with you. I'm five four and a half, I think. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you taller than me. <laughs> I can't believe you was that tall. You definitely did a growth spurt over what? Over the summer. Cause you didn't look like that that tall in your videos. I'm like, Mm-mm. what? <laughs> <laughs> Your mama got some height too, though. Mm hmm. She's five, seven and a half. Mm hmm. These cucumbers are really good. They are. Y'all don't be sleeping on these baby cucumbers. Yeah. It's a good snack, too. Mm hmm. It's really refreshing after mm-hmm. the turkey wing. Turkey it really wing. Is. Yep, y'all, I'm sorry. Tyra is doing some big things. I'm sure y'all probably gonna see her way. A lot more on the Food Network, and I'm excited to see how you, how everything turns out for you. Thank you. You are very a, a great success story. Thank you. And from what I know, y'all love her because y'all see she's very intelligent, highly smart, intelligent, know where she's going. She's an entrepreneur, has her own seasoning business. What else do you have? Um, her merch business. No, her movement. Hmm? Oh, yeah, her movement. movement. Of course, her movement. Yeah. And she's a, you so you a chef. So how, how, how old was you when you was a chef? Started cooking. I mean, you know, being like, okay. When I started cooking, I was seven. Seven. Okay. But once I like, I started competing when I was ten. Mm-hmm. Because I was in elementary school. And we won, um, my school, my team won, because it was three of, yeah, it was, no, it was four of us. Mm-hmm. We won first place in the District 5 Chop Challenge. Was y'all cook? What was the food? Was it chili or? We had, like, a mystery basket, but we had to make five-star soup. Oh. And then we had some mystery ingredients, and we had a parfait, and then um, I was, like, Everyone's doing a parfait. We need to do something else. So then I went back. Everyone else was still working on something else, but I went back in the kitchen mm-hmm. and I started making a smoothie. Mm-hmm. And everyone else was still going. And I'm, excuse me. And I'm still back mm-hmm. making the smoothie. And I played those smoothies, and they said because we had extra, that made us the winner. Ah, oh, so you you was a saver of the team. You mm-hmm. made you made the winning point. Mm-hmm. You scored. And then I did a chop chop um competition this year mm-hmm. we didn't win but we made um 
penne pasta with because our mystery ingredients was collard greens, mm -hmm. blueberries, blueberries. Mm -hmm. Um, it was collard greens, blueberries. It was some other ones. I forgot. And what y'all made? What was it? We made um a, a lemonade. We made like a blueberry lemonade. Oh, with and collard greens? Mm-hmm. Was it good? Wait, no, not with, no. And then with the collard greens, we had penne pasta. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, and I'm thinking, like, what? We had, like, a collard green sauce with, um, like, with cheese and stuff. A collard green sauce? Mm-hmm. Like, you know how they have, like, Alfredo pasta and they have spinach? Uh -huh. to it? We did that instead. We did it with collard greens. Collard greens. greens. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we did that, and, um, we had the lemonade. I think we had something else, but I can't think of it. We had some other stuff. I, I forgot. But we didn't come. We didn't win. And I'm kind of confused because the team that won served raw collard greens. Oh. Uh, they had the same type of... um. We all had the same mystery ingredients, but the team that won had raw collard greens. Like, the collard greens weren't cooked. Ew. And these were things that were supposed to go on the school's menu. Oh, for y'all to have for lunches and stuff? Wow. But mm. they didn't, they're not going to put their thing on the menu because it's non-makeable or whatever. Um. Like, why they win if it's not even going to work? Uh, raw? I've never tasted collard greens raw. That's just bitter. I'm sure it is. Bitter. Maybe they think it's like a kale. You eat kale raw, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. But so you so you tell me you are and um, you watch Food Network all the time, don't you? Mm hmm My favorite shows are the Kids Baking Championship mm -hmm. and the regular baking championship. And Worst Cook well, I don't like Worst Cooks anymore because I saw they had the celebrity worst cooks and they Tommy Davidson was on Chop saying how he was such a great cook and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then he was on Worst Cooks like he wasn't a good cook. And oh. then I was like, that is not real. <laughs> that was like, okay, that's fake. My mom wow. doesn't even like watching it anymore. Oh, because of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were like, whoa. They should at least search the history before they did that. And you, so you say you search everybody. Before you mm -hmm. really go into a deep search. Mm -hmm. Like before I meet someone mm -hmm. or if I see someone who like just won something or if I'm just like looking at something and I seem like this person seems interesting or I just want to know about that person, mm -hmm. I'm going to research them. Wow. Guess I get that from my mom. Mm-hmm. Which is a good thing. Mm-hmm. You ate a lot more than me. I told you. I, I finished mine. Yeah, I got four. Usually, I have two or three of them in here. <laughs> <laughs> you like what? <laughs> but yeah, but at least two. But those those ones were pretty big. I usually have a smaller one, mm -hmm. though. Those were big. They were huge. Ooh. I know. We're gonna sign out, y'all. But don't forget. Is it what? My eyes are closed. Oh yeah. <laughs> you get the eyes. You want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what your girls on this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so 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 much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out. And don't forget to check out Tyra and her YouTube channel and her merchandise link and where you buy her seasonings and everything. Her link will be in the description, description box below. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I got a belt. Description box below. And so go check her out, y'all. Bye.